my daily job is I always start with the blueprint, um, and then from that blueprint, I have to um, make that assembly into metal. So I'm basically building what I, the description that I see on the print. Once I'm, I analyze the blueprint, it usually takes a couple minutes of analyzing and just kind of figuring out what I have to do with that blueprint. I'm always starting with the process of fitting, so that's kind of like a fitter welder is basically what a metal fabricator is. So fitting is always the first start. I use um, oxycetylene torch with the process of cutting and coping, depending on what I have to do. Um, I use grinders, drills, um, and then I have to lay it out um, with squares, so different types of squaring tools. Um, and then after that's done, I, I tack every, all the pieces on. And then when it comes to problem solving, um, we do work with a team quite often, and we kind of have to figure out what the best way is to create that trust and create that um, piece that's on the blueprint, and then that's kind of like the major teamwork goes on. So these trusses, they can be malls, they can be skyscrapers, um, museums, and that's kind of like what we're the goal is at the end of the day is to make a part of something. Without welders and fitters, we wouldn't have these buildings that we're in today, the buildings that we work in, the buildings that we live in, the museums that we view history in, that's kind of the different things that we do. Um, and we're able to make those more safe and more complex, go from using wood to metal, and then they, they last longer, really. So without us, those wouldn't be possible. We do all the dirty work that the engineers don't do. <laughs> I get excited when I, I'm given a new task that I've never done before. I'm still, um, I'm just finishing up my apprenticeship, so I'm still doing a lot of learning, um, and so there's a lot of things that I haven't done, so when I'm given something that challenges me, um, that's really exciting. I actually had no interest at the time in a trade. Um, nothing against trades, just at the time I was, I was more interested in university because that was kind of where my, my site was. That was like the norm at the time, and so I went to university for studio art and art history, and I, I finished that. But while I was in studio art, I was introduced to welding and, and fabricating in the shop as creating welding like metal sculptures. Um, so that kind of got me into working with metal. And then from there, I originally wanted to get my master's and teach, but that unfortunately did not happen. Um, so I kind of like didn't really know what to do. And then I saw this program at Mohawk and I took that kind of, it was like an introductory course to metal and fabricating. And then from there, I was given a co-op, a paid co-op at Walters. And I kind of fell in love with just the process of building. It was still a very similar process to creating art. And then that's kind of where it, it came from. It wasn't, it definitely wasn't in my original plan at all. I never would have pictured myself here today, but now it's, it's definitely something that makes sense when you really think about it. It's still working with your hands and staying active and constantly learning and engaging with people and a team. So it's good. So my advice to young people um, is always be open-minded, always be open to learning new things. There's, there's more than one way to do things, so that's kind of one thing you really have to learn. Don't get easily discouraged and just kind of keep on going. You have to really stay positive through the process. So what I, what I really love most about my job um, is that if I see something on the street, if I drive by, because we build a lot of things in Toronto, I can say, oh, I built that. I, I, was, I was a part of that. So that's really the most rewarding thing is knowing that you contributed to this amazing structure. You were a, you were a part of the Walters team, so that's really, really the most rewarding thing. I'm always learning. I'm staying active. I'm always on my feet. I'm not. I'm always using my hands, um, and I'm I'm really affecting the environment around the city. And I'm I'm building really really interesting things. Um, and I, you feel proud after you say, "Oh, I I built that. I I helped build that." And so it's kind of. That's really the most rewarding thing. <laughs>